Hi there again, uh, this is Doug from 3 Putts Golf and now I'm going to give you the what's in my bag edition as well as what's on my bag uh, so you can see kind of the gear that I use as well as some of the quirks and other things that I have along with it. Uh, and if you talk to my other uh, co-host of this channel, Jeremy, he'll tell you I switch things way too much in my bag. Uh, I have a tendency, and it's more than likely why my handicap has fluctuated as much as it has. Uh, but this year, I had gotten the King F7 by Cobra driver. I got the F7 Plus in the blue head. And it was probably too much driver for me, to be honest with you. The, the amount of adjustability that came along with that thing caused me to constantly move things around to try to find something that worked. And when I found something that worked, it worked for a couple holes and then I would hit a bad shot and instead of thinking it was me, uh, I would blame it on the club and do adjustments on the club and screw myself over for the rest of the round. Uh, so what I ended up doing was just getting into a club that still is a lot of adjustability, uh, but I found it on Facebook on a group page. Um, the guy was selling it for $125, and it's the Callaway Great Big Bertha Epic Driver uh, with the jailbreak technology in it. You can see there's still a little bit of a green gunk on it from when we uh, tested it out and whatnot. Uh, but I went to Dick's Sporting Goods, hit it on the GC2 that they had there, and really kind of messed around with it a little bit. And I didn't, I didn't initially like it that much uh, when I was testing their model. Now, as you'll see in the simulator video, when I was hitting this driver, I was hitting it extremely well. Uh, I bought it on a, on a fluke deal because the guy was selling it for $125. I couldn't pass up on that. These things still sell for $250, $300 all day. So I decided to go ahead and get it. Uh, and I took it to the range and I fell in love with it. I was hitting it straight, I was hitting it strong. It, it was just a, a good fit for me. So I decided to go ahead and put it in my bag and then when we were hitting it at the simulator, getting back to that point, uh, Jeremy held up his driver and I never noticed this because I didn't pay attention to it, but the shaft on this, the uh, Rogue shaft, the Rogue Max by Adila, uh, is actually cut down and it's probably about the length of my three wood, honestly. Uh, and that's where I've gotten all this control from them because I hit my three wood dead straight all day long. Uh, so that's what I have in my bag currently for my driver situation. Three wood as a part of the combo deal from Rock Bottom Golf is the King F7. Uh, what I can tell you is I watched so many product reviews on things. It's actually a bit of an addiction of mine. I watch Rick Shields videos. I watch Mark Crossfield videos. I watch uh, Clay Ballard and Top Speed Golf. Uh, you know, just to kind of give them a couple shout outs there. Uh, I watch a lot of product reviews and it's because of those product reviews that I went out and tested some of these on my own as well. Now the King F7, I didn't actually test it before it was bought for me. It was a gift from my wife. Um, and, you know, it was a combo set with the driver. So, you know, got both for the deal. Um, and I didn't do any testing on it prior to getting it. And when I took it out of the wrapper and I hit it on the range, and we were actually down in Myrtle Beach at the time when I was playing it, I fell in love with it. I, I hit this thing straight almost every single time. I don't have any problems with it. I ended up with the gray finish on the front. Traditionally, I wanted the blue. I, I did. I, I love you know Ricky Fowler as a golfer and what he's done for the sport. He's brought a lot of cool things to the sport and kind of modernized it to our kind of age levels and whatnot of the younger golfers and he's really kind of revamped some of the golfing uh, but the two rail system on the bottom here absolutely incredible uh, I don't really hit fat shots that often with this if I ever hit them I don't I don't know if I do or not they're probably on camera if I do um, but I mean it's been absolutely incredible I hit this thing so well it, it'll be a permanent and, and it's odd for me to say that but it, unless they come up with something better than this that has these rails and stays in that line it's gonna be a permanent fixture in my bag just because of how well I hit it moving on to the next club I stayed in the Cobra family for my first hybrid here I carry two hybrids I do fluctuate between a four hybrid and a four iron. Uh, my skill level and my skill set right now, I don't do well with a four iron in my bag. Uh, it's just not something that I've ever really truly hit all that well. Uh, there are times where I will strike it extremely well, get great ball flight, and it'll do everything I want it to do. But then there's other times where I chunk the hell out of it and it's just 
worthless to me. Um, so I right now I have a four hybrid in my bag, but <clears throat> staying in the Cobra family, this is my three hybrid here, my two three hybrid. Or sorry, three four hybrid. I have it set to 19 degrees, so it's a three hybrid. Uh, I stayed with the F7, stayed with the rails. This was another one that I got off of Facebook. Uh, I often recommend, you know, watching product reviews and everything is great, but if you can go out there on Facebook, there are certain groups out there like golf club traders and golf stuff traders, uh, as well as the marketplace. I found this on the marketplace. The guy was selling it new in the wrapper, $90 and shipped it to me. Uh, and when you look online and, you, and you're buying these things, I mean, this one brand new was selling for 180 all day. So, I mean, to get it for a half price, new in the wrapper, the only difference is, is it's a regular shaft. It's got the, uh, if you could, I don't even know how to pronounce it, Fucajora shaft. Uh, it's a regular flex. Uh, so, I mean, that that's the big difference. My swing speed fluctuates uh, quite a bit, as I'm sure everyone's does. Uh, my swing speed is roughly about 90 to 95. Sometimes I can crank it up to 100 if I'm really swinging my butt off. But for the most part, I hang around 90, 95. So I can get away with a regular flex shaft on that. Moving on to the next club, I have a TaylorMade Aero Burner for hybrid. I got this because... I lack the ability to not buy stuff. Uh, so me and Jeremy went out for a round of golf up at our um, local college course, which was uh, Penn State. Uh, we played on the blue course. I was there. They had it in the, in the shop as a demo club. Uh, still, you know, in really, really good shape. And they only wanted like 60 bucks for it. So I said, you know what, I'm going to take that. So I, I took it and went out to the range. And once again, a lot of the clubs I get, I get without testing them. So, I mean, I luck out a lot on these. Uh, but I got the Aero Burner 4 Hybrid. Uh, and this is the one that fluctuates in my bag. I take it out a lot and then I put it back in a lot. But, I mean, right now I'm hitting it really solid. Uh, and I'd like to keep it in the bag. Moving on to the iron set. I'm only going to take out one because you don't need – they're all the same. Uh, <clears throat> I'm using five through uh, five through pitching wedge, and it's the Cobra Amp irons. Now, a little funny story about these. My boss had actually won these at a tournament, and what had happened was he thought, and he, he's an older gentleman. Uh, he's like 67 now. He had thought that they were girls' clubs because his color perception is off, and he thought this was pink. So he sold them to me new in the wrapper. I got them for 100 bucks, full set of irons. Never tested them. Didn't want to test them. 100 bucks for a set of Cobras, it was a done deal. I will get into the wedges now. Um, I have two different kinds of wedges in my bag. I have my 50 degree wedge, my gap wedge is a Callaway Mac Daddy Forged. Um, there's not a bad thing I can say about this club. I have it in the uh, finish that's meant to true rust. So as you play, the finish rusts, which is supposed to generate more spin, so they say. Uh, but, I mean, it's the R grind. I love this club. I hit it really well. There are days where I have battles with my wedges, and I just hosel rocket everything. Uh, if you watched our first edition with Bell Springs, I hosel rocket a couple shots. Uh, and that's just a personal battle. It has nothing to do with the club. Uh, and then my 56 and my 60 degree are the Titleist Vokey wedges, uh, SM5. I have the F grind in the 56 and I have the S grind in the 60 degree. Uh, and it has 14 and 7 degrees of bounce. It, you know, uh, I like to have a little bit of bounce there. I'm the kind of player where I hit... I can hit a lot of flop shots. I can hit flop shots with my gap wedge all the way to my lob wedge. I'm not great with the gap wedge, but I can do it. Uh, flop shot's probably my favorite shot to hit when I'm around the greens. Uh, but I've been learning to play more pitch and run shots as well uh, because that'll get me lagged up closer for putting. Now going into my putter, another quick story about it. <clears throat> my putter was another thing that uh, was a gift, if you will. I was at a competition at a... Uh, not a competition, but a tournament. And it was a scramble tournament. And in the tournament, they had a couple things for raffle. Uh, and I put up five bucks for a raffle ticket, and I ended up winning this. It's the Ping Sigma G. Now, what's cool about this putter was it was a special edition made. Um, now, I'm not saying this is the only one because I know it's not. Uh, but Ping very rarely does special paint colors unless it's pre-ordered and requested that way. This was done 
uh, and it was for the Folds of Honor tournament. If you don't know what the Folds of Honor is, please uh, take some time to research it. It's a really great cause. But the Folds of Honor um, tournament that we played in, they had this special made for it. If you look at the paint colors on there, there it's red, a little bit of white. It's hard to get with the, the reflection, but there's um, some blue in here as well uh, for the American flag and everything. It's a red, white, and blue putter. It's tough for me to get used to because I came from a spider mallet, uh, you know, the daddy long legs putter. Um, so, I mean, I'm getting used to that now. Uh, I do have this with a new grip on it this year. I put the super stroke grip on it with a counterbalancing weight on it. Uh, it's been a great addition to my bag. I'm getting closer on my putts with my speeds and my reads. Um, so hopefully this year I can drop some more putts. Uh, but that's what's in the bag. Now a quick uh, look around the bag to show you what's, you know, what I got going on with that. I'm using a Nike Equiflex uh, Air Sport bag. I like the carry bags, personally. Um, I do have a cart bag. I have a tailor-made cart bag uh, that I'll use from time to time. But this bag is just easier. I have a local course by me, by my work, uh, where they have a nine-hole par three course. And it's like nine dollars to play as much as you want, and I'll throw the bag on and I'll go walk 18 holes in like an hour, hour and a half there, uh, just because of it being a par three. Now on the bag, I have two cool trinkets that I like. Um, I have this that I put on the bag this year. It's called the Spotless Swing. It's a towel that on the inside has microfiber scrubs. Okay, so it's very fine scrubbing. Uh, you get this wet before the round, and during the round, you don't need to use a club washer or anything like that. You just put the club in the sleeve, scrubs it up real good, and then up at the top, it's just your normal microfiber towel. It'll clean your club completely. It's really cool. Uh, it's, it's a nice addition to the bag. Um, and then I also have, I got this this year. Uh, it's called, It Takes Balls to Golf, uh, and it's called My Sack. No explanation needed. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Doug, and this has been What's In My Bag. Uh, as a part of Three Putts Golf, we are the average golfer that is hoping to bring you, you know, some cool course vlogs as well as some fun um, games that we're going to play this year. Uh, we are going to shoot a simulator video, another one, uh, so stay tuned. Thanks again.